Adding fractions with unlike denominators, there's a few steps you have to take. The first step is you have to find a common denominator. The second step is you need to change all the fractions to whatever new denominator works with both of them. Add them together and simplify them at the end. So what it means to find a common denominator is this person ordered a pizza. It was broken into eighths and they ate three slices. This person broke, had a pizza uh, that was broken into halves and they ate one slice. It's really hard to compare the sizes between the two. So you have to say, okay, what could I change three eighths into and one half into so I know that they have the same size? So I'm going to skip count by both 2 and 8 to see if we can find anything in common. I usually just go one at a time and hope I find something as I'm going along. So 8 times 1 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 8 times 2 is 16, 2 times 2 is 4, 8 times 3 is 24, 2 times 3 is 6, 8 times 4 is 32, 2 times 4 is 8. So I found something that they have in common. They both have the 8s in common. So now what I need to do is I need to change my 3 8 into 8 Well, heck, that's pretty easy because it's already an 8th. But what about my 1 half? I need to say, well, if, if I'm changing this to 8 what do I have to multiply my denominator by to get that 8? 4. And whatever you do to the bottom, you got to do to the top. 1 times 4 is 4. So now I have two fractions that I can add together because they have the same denominator. 3 eighths plus 4 eighths. Now that I have two fractions I can work with because they have the same denominator, I just say, okay, well, if this one's cut into eighths and this one cut into eighths, let me see how many eighths they have together. So the denominator is going to stay the same. And then all I need to do to the top is add them together. Well, if you ate three slices, I ate four slices. We ate seven slices in all. And my last step is to simplify. I need to think, is there anything I can divide into both the top and bottom other than one? The factors of seven are seven and one. The factors of eight are eight and one, two and four. And the only thing they have in common is one. So that means it is as simplified as it can get. So we go now to the next problem. We say, okay, this guy has three-fifths pizza, and this guy has two-thirds pizza. How much pizza do they have all together? To figure that out, we have to figure out a common denominator between the two. So I write my five, and I write my three. And you might, you might start to the point where you, you, you see what the common denominator is because you know your factors really well. But if you don't, you skip count one at a time, 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 3 is 9, 20, 12, 25, and 15. I stop there because they both have that 15 in common. So I'm going to have to change my two-thirds, sorry, my three-fifths into fifteenths, and I'm going to have to change my two-thirds into fifteenths. Just ask yourself, what do you have to multiply to get to here? Well, five times three is fifteen. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do it to the top. Three times three is nine. Three times what gives me fifteen? Well, three times five gives me fifteen. 2 times 5 is 10. So now I have two things I can work with. I now have 9 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths. If I start with fifteenths, if I add fifteenths, I'm going to end with fifteenths. 9 plus 10 is 19. And I simplify. Now this one, the reason I made this problem is because whenever you're simplifying this one, your top number, numerator, is bigger than your denominator. That means that you ate more than one whole pizza. So how do you change from an improper fraction to a mixed number? You say, okay, it's the way I do it at least. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see it. I say, okay, how many times can your denominator go into your numerator? 
what is 19 divided by 15? Well, the most times it can go in there is once with how much left over? One, two, three, four pieces of pizza left over. And my denominator stays the same. Now, if that doesn't make a ton of sense to you, I have another video where we talk about simplifying or changing from improper fractions to mixed numbers. And if you struggle with that, I would go back and watch a video for this one if you kind of don't understand because it's, it's at greater length. But that is how you add fractions that have unlike denominators. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff.